All right, we went to put it in there, and uh, for those of you guys that try to stick that in there, it's not going to work. So what we did, we went and got a uh, half-inch compression, uh, electrical compression connector from Lowe's. Uh, there's the uh, part number there. It's by EMT or ProConnex. So, there's the skew on the back if you're curious. So, anyways, so we had to uh, we had to file it out a little bit, and fortunately, I have a lathe. I just put it on the lathe, and that made it <laughs> a ton easier. So we went to go put it in uh, the MIG welder over here. And the uh, the hole was too big, so then I had to get the file and file it out a little bit more. Just so that it's not much. I mean, it, it, it barely wouldn't fit, so I just had to file a little bit out so that it would go in there. And then we put a kind of a damp paper towel in the back to catch all the metal shavings. Let me get this cleaned up and then I'll uh, install it and show you how I do it. Alright, we're getting ready to put this on. Uh, this goes on first, then your compression ring, then your uh, actual connector portion, and then once you put it through uh, the bulkhead on the welder, then you tighten this down on it. So let me put it all together and I'll show you. Oh, when you put it together, uh, feed the big, this one in first, those two, and then this one last. You gotta go one at a time through those holes. Makes it easier. All right, we got the uh, we got the connector on there. So let's go ahead and feed these items in here. Probably underneath here. Yep, there it is. And we'll put the nut on here. All right. Now we got this uh, threaded onto here. Make sure you have enough pigtail to go from here up to your switch. Once the switch gets in, there should be enough. It could probably come up here a little bit better, uh, like that. But uh, we'll see. I may end up splitting some of this out. Uh, and in order to tighten this up, you just get a uh, screwdriver, set it on here, and then you smack the end with a hammer, and that'll tighten it up. Well, we're back. We've uh, got this tightened down real good with a screwdriver. We got all the wires in. Use the zip tie here because, well, I tightened this compression up really good, and it it just didn't do anything. So I just used the zip tie to keep it from coming back out. Um, let's see, so we've got, uh, our red and black up here. Now, remember when we first did this, that this side was white and this side was black. And that's because when Harbor Freight built this, they used a three-wire system, and they were using the white as, like, L2 and the black as L1. And white in an AC is supposed to be return which is goes back to the box and hooks to ground so being as I'm using a four wire system and I'm going to use a four wire plug I went ahead and I hooked the white to ground here and the ground to ground or I should say the return which is white to ground and the safety ground to ground and then L1 and L2 went ahead and went up to the power switch so it should be uh, color coded properly I got this switch in now initially we were going to make these uh, 10 gauge 2 and we still will but uh, I didn't have any piggyback uh, terminals so a piggyback terminal is basically a single female terminal and it has a male uh, little tab that comes off and, and goes up and then you push this on so 
Um, I didn't have those yet. I ordered them, so we're going to have to do that later. So, hmm. Well, anyways, uh, we got this in, and it looks like the only thing really left to do for now is to uh, go ahead and screw the cover back on, uh, get the connector on, and then uh, attach the uh, argon system to it. So we'll uh, chit-chat with you later. Oh, I did uh, use the old zip ties that were on it. I just used a, like a really sharp pin and... And got in here. Let me see if I can't focus up. And see that little tab in there? I lift that up, put a razor, uh, like an exacto blade underneath it, and which disengages the lock. And then you can slide these out and reuse them. Uh, some people use uh, like sewing sewing needle pins and stuff. It, it works. Or if you just have some lying around, just cut those ones off and throw them away and put some new ones on. But we went ahead and we put the put them back on there. And uh, well. I guess that's it for now uh, until we get to the other part of the video where I hook on the power connector and uh, get the argon system on. But for the power upgrade, uh, power cable upgrade, uh, the 10 gauge, uh, this pretty much finishes the inside of this video for now uh, until we get the uh, piggybacks in and then we'll come back in and we'll, we'll upgrade the rest of it. So we'll talk with you later and we'll see you in the other part of the video.